Another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs. Once again, it's your boy Kier, and I am back uh, doing a new review on a 2023 film, horror film. It's going to be Scream 6, and I say without further ado, I say we get right into it. Um, so I saw Scream 6 uh, last night, uh, Saturday night, uh, with a group of friends. Uh, I thought it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely, it picks up kind of about a few months after uh, Scream or Scream Five, however you want to call it. Basically, with the the, the new crop of Whisperl uh, gang, basically uh, this four survivors basically moving to New York to go to college. And while they're there, uh, basically uh, the ghost face killer starts up again and is targeting uh, the main one of the main characters from the previous film, Samantha, um, who many have said believe that she was actually the murderer because. As many people know who her father was from uh, previous series. Not going to go into the full situation or uh, scenario regarding that, but um, basically, uh, many of the people at the college think that you know she was the actual murderer from the previous films, and so she's being targeted um, by a bunch of. Um, but it appears to be maybe more than one ghost face killer. We're not quite for sure. Um, you know, initially in the beginning of the film and a lot of things kind of happen that lead you to believe that maybe there's more than one killer or maybe there's a copycat killer or something of this nature. Um, so they obviously bring in a bunch of new casts who, you know, could be fodder, you know, could be, you know, the new killers, or maybe it's one of the original four um, from the previous film that's original kill killers as well. Um, they also bring back Gail Weathers. Um, uh, she shows up, um, but obviously, um, uh, Sydney, uh, unfortunately, does not make it into this film. Um, but yeah, just to sum it up, um, I liked it. Um, I mean, you kind of know what you're getting when you're getting into these films. You know what the Ghostface Killer is all about, and they all kind of have some sort of tie-in until the very, very first original Scream film that came out, you know, 20, 26 years ago or something of that nature. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got enough thrills. Um, it's got some humor. Um, it's got enough, uh, you know, entertainment to, to keep almost anyone that's a horror fan entertained. Uh, is it perfect? Absolutely not. It's not a perfect film, um, but I did enjoy it quite a bit. Um, like I said, I was you know completely entertained. I thought it had some pretty decent twists. Um, I could see some of the twists coming. I'll be admitting that I, I could under. I kind of got some of the twists. I didn't get it all fully figured out, but I did get uh, some of the points figured out as well. Um, but yeah, I found the film very really, uh, really interesting. Definitely um, a fun, you know, fun popcorn film, if you will. So if you like horror films, you like slasher films, you like the Scream franchise, I don't really see any reason why you wouldn't like this one. Um, you can argue that there are definitely some 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 logic issues and some things that happen in the film that aren't necessarily believable. But, you know, obviously with these types of horror films, you kind of have to check your brain at the door a little bit anyway. So, um, so yeah, I try not to get too critical on that. But, uh, but as far as, uh, you know, slasher films go, I think it was pretty decent. I think it did what it set out to do. And um, I, I had a good time watching it. It's definitely one that I'll probably uh, buy and own and watch again. Giving this one a grade, I am going to give it a three and a half out of five. Um, only because, like I said, there was a little bit of, you know, like I said, I don't want to be too critical. Uh, but there were some, you know, logic issues and some things that happened in the film that I thought were impossible or couldn't have, it couldn't have happened the way that they happened. Uh, I can't go into full details on that. So knocked it down just a little bit based on that. But it's a really enjoyable, serviceable film. So like I said, it's three and a half out of five. So that's just a big smile with some teeth. Because um, I definitely enjoyed it. But let me know down in the comments, have you seen the new Scream film? Did you like it? Did you not like it? As always, if you like the channel, we ask you to like, subscribe, uh, follow, hit those bell notifications, and I'll be back again with some more shows for you. I thank you for watching and hope everybody has a great day.